In some cases, defendants may avoid criminal liability by proving an affirmative defense even if they committed an alleged criminal act. In Hawaii v. DeCastro, the Hawaii Intermediate Court of Appeals considered whether ignorance of the law is an available affirmative defense to a crime. Robert DeCastro owned Town & Country Moving in Hawaii. While driving his employee, Wesley DeMoss, from a delivery back to DeCastro's warehouse, DeCastro saw Officer Derek Rodriguez nearly cause a traffic accident while pursuing a speeding car. When Officer Rodriguez pulled over the speeding driver, DeCastro parked behind the police car to record its license plate number. According to DeCastro, Officer Rodriguez approached him and became aggressive, challenging DeCastro and DeMoss to a fight. Officer Rodriguez then took DeCastro's driver's license and registration, instructed him to wait in his vehicle, and returned to his police car. DeCastro called 911 to report that Officer Rodriguez was harassing him. DeCastro asked whether he could leave the scene and return to his warehouse. The 911 operator said yes and that DeCastro should call back after arriving at the warehouse. When DeCastro left, Rodriguez pursued and called for backup. DeCastro finally pulled over and was arrested and charged with resisting an order to stop a motor vehicle. At trial, DeCastro argued that he lacked the specific intent necessary to commit the crime because he reasonably relied on the 911 operator's permission to leave the scene. The trial court convicted DeCastro, ruling that a reasonable person in his position wouldn't have believed he was legally allowed to leave. DeCastro appealed to the Hawaii Intermediate Court of Appeals.